కోచర్ ఉంటే పిరమిడ్ సంఖ్య ఎంత సంఖ్య అంటారు పిరమిడ్ కోచర్ అనేట్ ఇంటూ పిరమిడ్స్ కాజ్ డ్యూ టు ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ రివ్యూస్ కాన్సెప్ట్ వేరే ఎస్ హెచ్ఎం సెమ్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ కాజ్ డ్యూ టు సిగ్నల్స్ దట్ ఆర్ ఇన్ అడ్జస్ట్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ రైట్ కోచర్ ఇంటర్ఫరెన్స్ ఇస్ ఇంక్రీజ్ బేస్ స్టేషన్ ట్రాన్స్మిషన్ పవర్ టు ఇంకో రేడియో సిగ్నల్ రిసెప్షన్ ఆర్ సపరేట్ కో ఛానల్ సెల్స్ బై ద మినిమమ్ డిస్టెన్స్ టు ప్రొవైడ్ సఫిషియంట్ ఐసోలేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ ప్రాపిగేషన్ ఆఫ్ రేడియో సిగ్నల్ whereas coacher interference also depends on r and d r is nothing but radius of the cell and also d is nothing but d is nothing but the distance between the between the two the, the distance between base stations or distance between two base stations of frequency reused cells this is the formula we are discussed last class d is equal to r into square root of 3n where n is nothing but size of the cluster n is nothing but size of the cluster right rest is equal to d by r which is nothing but the coach and raise ratio for hexagonal cells u is equal to d by r is equal to root 3 into n right you nothing but co channel reuse ratio co channel reuse ratio if the co channel reuse ratio is less the cluster size is also small if the cluster size is small the frequency reuse is more if the frequency reuse is more that means the system capacity is high the system capacity is high right if smaller co channel reuse ratio is nothing but the small cluster size if the cluster size is small that means frequency reuse is high but more frequency reuse is a larger system capacity and also for small cube that is small coach and reuse ratio small cell separation due to small cell separation that means distance between the distance cells is less then the coach and interference is high the coach and interference is high right next one is signal to interference ratio spi there is a formula for spi spi is equal to signal to interference ratio where the value of spi i is more that means greater than 1 then that means the signal value is greater than interference value that means there is a proper communication between the source and destination if the interference value is high that means i is equal to the denominator is high that means the spi is equal to less than 1 that means the interference value is more that means the signal has interrupted signal and also the unwanted signals are added to the wanted signals right 
which is regarding S by I. S is the desired signal power, uh, whereas I is nothing but interference power. Interference comes from co-channel cells. There are different formulas regarding signal to interference ratio, S by I. Signal interference ratio as by I, nothing but the mobile station is at cell boundary. That means whereas here the mobile station is at the boundary of the center cell. Right. <laughs> here is the distance D, these all are D plus R. D plus R nothing but R is the radius of the cell, whereas the D is nothing but the distance between base stations of which tens cells, right? These are the equations for us where ratio. Here is a general interference. Exition channel interference can be minimized by adequate filtering and adequate channel assignment. If the filtering process is done properly, then addition channel interference is less. Suppose if the total channels are 832 channels, and these can be divided into two groups. Each group contains 416 channels. For 416, 395 is voice and 21 is control channels. And also, the 395 are divided into 21 subsets, is containing 19 channels. If n is equal to 7, that means the cluster size is 7. Each cell uses 3 subsets. Total 21 subsets. For each cell, 3 subsets. Assuming in the way that each channel is 7 channel cell. That means for each one, for each subset, there will be seven channels that are allocated for the cells in the cluster. Right? These are the frequencies which are labeled as 1 to 14. Here are the frequency planning and channel assignment. These are the numbers given here, 1 to 7. In each cell, there are different set of frequencies that are catered, like A8, B9, C12. Likewise, right? This is about trunking and grading of them. Thinking we already discussed. After interference, there are core channel interference areas in a system. There are two areas identified in core channel interference areas in a system. So one, one is core channel interference area from a mobile receiver. That means our mobile phone. 
how the cochlear interference affected <coughs> existed through mobile phone and also through cell site there are two areas affected through mobile receiver and also through cell site right the cochlear interference can be measured by selecting cochlear interference is measured by selecting any one channel and by using that channel and all core channel sites are at night while the mobile receiver is moving in one of the core channel sites this data is collected by field sound recorder and the compare the data with the non core channel sites right this field core sound recorder data will be compared with the non core channel sites and the other one is based on the c by ratio that means carry rate interference ratio is greater than 18 db that means the system is properly designed the system is properly designed if the speed is less than 18 there is a presence of tca this is nothing but cochlear interference right these values will be measured by using the field sound recorder data in the cochlear search other one is cochlear interference area which affects the mobile site which affects the cell site In cell set, there are two interfering cells here. Here there are two interfering cells here. By using this. the cochlear interference area will be fine at the cell side 